This lesson is about the Grid Layout Manager. You can use the Grid Layout Manager to lay out any number of components in a window, but you must specify the grid to hold a specific number of components. The grid is a fixed size, and the components are inserted into it left to right, then top to bottom. And all the components are displayed in the same size. Even with these constraints, this Layout Manager is actually quite useful. Here's how it works. This line creates a grid layout manager. You can specify any layout you want, but this one is configured with three rows and two columns. The grid layout manager is actually quite handy, and I use it quite often. The only real problem I have with it is I can never remember whether it's the number of rows or number of columns that come first in the constructor. I just looked it up to be sure, and it's rows that come first. The Grid Layout Manager is going to organize things into three rows, and each row will have two columns. The new Layout Manager is stored in the panel, and then we add six buttons, just enough to fill the grid. A Grid Layout Manager doesn't mind too much if you're a couple of components shy. It just leaves blanks where they would have gone. But if you add too many components, the Grid Layout Manager changes its dimensions to make room for them, and it never seems to change the dimensions in a way that you'd like. Now, these buttons all come up the same size in the window because this Layout Manager requires that all its components be the same size. Here, I'll show you. Here are the six buttons. These are all set to their preferred size, which is pretty small because the text of each button is so short. If they are different sizes, the grid layout adjusts all dimensions to accommodate the largest one. For example, this program is just like the previous example, except this last button, which has a label that's much larger than the others, so it'll require more space than the others. Here's how the grid handles that. As you can see, the Grid Layout Manager asked everyone what their minimum requirements were and then set all the grid dimensions to the size of the one required the most space. Oh, you can insert horizontal and vertical gaps between the components uh, this way. These two lines of code establish a uniform separation distance of 20 pixels to be placed between all components, vertically and horizontally.